Hello and welcome to another video and quite possibly the last one. Well, the last ice fishing video for whitefish anyway. It's been one heck of a year. Some people have been doing well and a lot of others haven't. Most of the techniques I've been using call them in but they're just not biting. And unless I'm going to change lures every five minutes, there's not a lot I can do about it. Once I set up this hut, I'm here for the day. I'm not moving again. It takes me 20 minutes to anchor this hut down, get my gear in here and start fishing. So I'm not into that. Those of you with a flip over hut have a better chance of getting out there to different spots. I keep coming back to the same old spots. I move around a little bit from where I've been the previous weekend, but still out here off Civil Point. A good two feet of ice, a lot of hard crunchy snow to walk out here, not too bad, but even today these winds are reaching 35 kilometers an hour. I wasn't out here yesterday because we had 50 kilometer hour plus winds and that's just not enjoyable. So I'm sticking to it. I'm bunkered down here. 28 and a half feet of water. First drop this morning, whitefish came in. Obviously didn't take the bait. But I know they're in the area. They're always around here. But they don't travel in giant schools like if you're in deeper water. You'll see two, three, four at most at a time. That's all I've been seeing this year. It's almost like a lot of stragglers off of a school out in the distance or what have you. They'll come, they'll look, and then back on their way. Seeing fish is half the battle. Yes, it's nice to see them down there. I'm sort of in the right spot if I can locate them. But if they're not schooled up, like I was just talking about, they tend not to be as aggressive. If there's a bunch of them in a school that come up and one looks interested, the other one starts looking interested, and then they start getting aggressive towards it. One of the fish wants to win over the other ones and take the bait. Most of these fish that come through on the screen just genuinely look lost. <laughs> as lost as I am in trying to figure out how to get them to bite. But what a winner we've had. This weather, we've had a lot more snow than the previous couple years. Some weekends when a lot of us stayed off the lake, we were hitting 70 km hour winds and that's just detrimental to these huts. It's not worth coming out. It's been a heck of a season out here. But coming out here by yourself, solo missions, it really is an adventure. There's not a lot of room for air. Especially when you're venturing out the first time of the season on thinner ice and then towards the end of the season, we really have to be careful There'll be some spots that are starting to thin out, get a little damp, cracks will open up, and of course, safety is number one. Always have your ice picks. Even if you don't have a floater suit, which you should look into, at least wear ice picks. That should be the bare minimum of coming out here. I'd rather you come out here with these than a fishing rod. But aside from blabbering about safety, I'm just trying to enjoy the day out here as I know it's my last day for whitefish. Seen a ton of them. Seen all kinds of them. But they are just not hungry. But my lunch is ready. Thought I'd finish this season off with my favorite meal out here. Or at least has been this season. And <laughs> one of my go-tos is butter chicken. Super simple to make. I make enough to have lunch for the next day. Bring it out here on the ice and heat it up. Honestly, you really can't go wrong with butter chicken. Every time I go to cook my lunch, whitefish come in, I look at the screen, I run around cameras and try not to knock my food over. A couple whitefish just came in, missed them. Literally the story of my life. Anytime I take my eyes off the screen and look back, they're coming through. Well. I haven't seen a whitefish in an hour. The winds have really picked up, snowing and blowing. I can't believe the wind this year. Honestly, I hate it the most. It can snow all it wants, whatever, but the wind is annoying. There's a fish in the area. Come look at me. Come on, he's on bottom. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, after that one, 
so I'm packing up. I'm taking this year as a loss. Still happy I got out here. But come on, that's the worst head fake I've ever seen. He was going for it. I'm probably gonna pack up. The ice is making a lot of noise right now. Everyone that was around me has gone back in now. I'm gonna take that as a sign. And I'm gonna say, sayonara, ice fishing. I can't believe that last one. I really thought that was it. That was gonna be the buzzer beater right there. Oh boy, and pack up.